Yo, what's up guys? Today we're talking about the biggest winners and losers of week three. Let's get straight into it. All right, number one on my list is the Giants. The Giants, man, you guys got a top 10 wide receiver in Malik Neighbors. Malik Neighbors look awesome out there against that Browns elite defense. Also, that defense looked elite too. That defensive front has seven and a half sacks. Bro, you're holding the Browns offense to 15 points? Good Lord. This is a great game for the Giants. I'm just so excited to see more from Malik Neighbors. Malik Neighbors looked amazing out there. I can't praise him enough, bro. He's a really good wide receiver, and um, he's showing it right now. Even with Daniel Jones as our quarterback, Daniel Jones didn't have a bad game, and it's all due to Malik Neighbors having a really great game. He only had 78 yards, but it seemed like he had more. So, Daniel Jones, 283 yards, two touchdowns. This defense having seven and a half sacks. Malik Neighbors, two touchdowns, 78 yards. I think it was like seven receptions. This is a great game from the Giants. And taking a win against the Browns? Oh my God, this is a great game. I got them as the biggest winners of this week. Um, You couldn't expect more from the Giants. This is a great week for the Giants. So, Giants winners of week three. All right, for my next biggest winner of this week, is the Panthers. Panthers looked amazing when they put Andy Dalton in. Maybe Bryce was the problem. Bryce was the problem. It was definitely Bryce was the problem. Andy Dalton changed his whole offense. They look like a whole new offense out there against the Raiders. And it looked really good. It looked really, really good for them. Oh my God. Andy Dalton changed his whole offense. Deontay Johnson had a great game. Chuba Hubbard. Chuba Hubbard of all players, the running back Chuba Hubbard had a great, amazing um, game 100 yards like two touchdowns one receiving touchdown one rushing touchdown something like that bro oh my god i didn't expect the the panthers to have this type of game the panthers i didn't i just thought they were not gonna win any games i'm gonna be honest i thought they were not gonna win any games because look when bryce was at home this offense looked horrible and it was like it was all bryce's fault it was all bryce's fault but Let's hope Bryce gets better over time because, like, this team looks really good when um, you have a competent quarterback at the helm like Andy Dalton. So, my biggest winner, second biggest winner of this week is the Panthers. The Panthers had a great game. So, let's get the straight to the next one. All right, my third biggest winner of this week is the Vikings. The Vikings, is Sam Darnold legit, bro? Sam Darnold is having an amazing season so far. Out of these three weeks, he's just getting better and better and better. Although they don't have any, they're like missing some players on defense. They're missing TJ Hawkinson. They're missing Jordan Addison. They're missing so many players and they're still putting up numbers. They stopped the Texans to like seven points and they had like 36, 30, maybe like 35, 36 points. Sam Darnold had four touchdowns, four touchdowns, 183 yards. This is insane numbers for Sam Darnold. He's not seeing goals anymore. Like, wh what happened? What happened to Sam Darnold? He's, what happened was he's got a good offensive coordinator that he fits into that scheme well. So, Sam Darnold, oh my God. The Vikings, everybody wrote him off. Everybody wrote him off in the week, um, like, the beginning of the season. But they're looking legit right now. They're 3-0, and one of the best, like, one of the best teams in the NFC right now. So, the Vikings, one of my biggest, biggest winners of this week. All right, my first biggest loser of this week is the Titans. The Titans could be like 2-1, maybe even 3-0 if they had a competent quarterback. Will Levis is holding this team back really heavily. Bro, there's so many pa passes that I see. I'm just like, why did, the why did Will Levis throw that ball? Like, it's so bad. W throwing the ball... When he's on like all fours, chucking it up like like an underhand throw. I don't know what this man is doing half the time. This man is so bad, so bad. They should be two and one. They should be th maybe like even three and zero. Even the coach says it's like these are like bonehead plays. Like these are scratch your head type of plays, bro. Three interceptions in the last game against the Packers. Like this is unacceptable, and he's costing them a lot of games. I'm gonna say. If he keeps on playing like this for like the next two weeks, he's probably gonna be like, he's probably gonna get benched. He's probably gonna get benched, and I don't blame him. 
I don't know who they have behind um, Will Levis right now, but I don't think Will Levis is, is the answer right now. He's playing horribly. So, my first biggest loser of this week is the Titans. All right, my next biggest loser of this week is the Chargers. The Chargers came in this week with their quarterback having a high ankle sprain. And a high ankle sprain, and they were like, nah, you can go out there and play. Playing against the top defense, one of the top defense in the league, the Steelers. And you know what happened? Do you know what happened? Justin Herbert got injured. And you don't... It's going to be even worse this time because Justin Herbert got injured and it's, he's going to be out for a longer than he should have been if you just let him sit this game. But, you know, they let him they let him play. They, he did pretty good in the first quarter. But getting injured, that's a big loss for those Chargers. And it could have been avoided if they just sat um, Justin Herbert this game. So, Chargers, big L for them. Big L's. All right. My last and final loser of this week is the Dolphins. I didn't know how much Tua really helped that team like operate. Cause like this team looks like a whole different team with Skylar Thompson at quarterback. Bro, Tyreek and Jalen Waddle don't look like elite wide receivers anymore. Tyreek is getting six catches for 40 yards. Jalen Waddle has like two catches for 24 yards bro this is not happening bro like Tua was actually operating this offense really well I didn't think Tua everybody tells me Tua is overrated but now like how is Tua overrated when this offense looks like a whole whole different offense than it was like two weeks ago when Tua was there like bro this is bad this is bad bad for them I don't know what they're going to do for the next week. I know they got Tyler Huntley coming in. Is he going to fill in the shoes of Tua? I don't think so. This is a, a really panic mode for the Dolphins right now. Because, like, I don't know what you guys are going to do coming in for, like, week four. So, that's all my final losers and winners. Um, tell me what you thought of these choices. But, anyway, that's it for the video. Have a good day and peace.